<clears throat> welcome, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've just been out for a really quick drive. I went to see Jack and we talked about getting some work done on the Boxster. He is just going to give me a credit note for the Golf Pongo, the Golf Estate that I sold him for, which is really a cheap one and I feel quite bad because it's got quite a lot of things wrong with it. Um, <clears throat> but also, I just popped in and he got me a quote from the local tyre place for two new tyres, P0s, Pirelli P0s, N4 rated, two 6535s on the back, 18s, um, they're about £200 each, £198 fitted, that is a lot of money. So I need to go online and have a look at... Um, Black Circles, I think that's probably the one that I'm going to look at and that's the one that might be cheaper. I don't know. Anyway, that's the thing what I'm going to do is, but in other news, I, as you know, the Boxster is just sat there and oh, I've taken this corner too fast on my rubbish tires. The Boxster has just been sat there sweating and the other day I was about to get in this car to go to my mum's where I did 200 miles in a day. Actually it was 250 miles so I went to my first in the morning. But anyway as I was about to get in, oh and the car was absolutely fine. Uh, I'm not sure about, I think it does need something on the suspension but anyway we've talked about that before. Um, but I went and opened the door on the Boxster and um, it was smelly, because it's damp, but fur, fur was growing on the steering wheel, on the seats, green, like bordering on mushrooms, bordering on mushrooms, it's that gross. So I am going to buy battery, not battery operated, rechargeable dehumidifiers. I also think that the door seals have got a problem because I didn't take a photo by the way because I was too gross down I didn't have my phone with me but I think the door seals are letting in a bit of water so on the passenger side where the speaker is at the bottom of the door it's really wet the silver's wet and the the door card is wet the little bit of carpet that's there so that makes me think that needs doing um, so I I need to look at the door seal. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna get one of those breathable car covers, make sure it's waterproof, but also leave the windows open underneath and put the dehumidifiers in. So I'm gonna let it dry out. Also, I'm gonna write off to a few more people, because you know I wrote off to Heritage, Heritage Park Center, to see if they could help out, because, you know, to help a, a Boxster from being scrapped. So, they said that they could do 10%, uh, which is quite a nice gesture. I don't know if it's anything more than they would do for just anybody going onto the website saying, here's a discount code, you get 10% off. But still, it's kind of 450 pounds for the minimum parts that I need. That's, you know, not overhauling the, the brakes, that's just fixing the one strut. That's obviously completely knackered. So I need to do some, something different. I'm gonna sort that out. And that's about it. I did speak to the, the garage guy. So he is going to do me some kind of quote so I can, I can see if we can do, um, afford to do the garage. And otherwise I'm just doing renovations. But in the meantime, I will be doing more videos. So, and I think that's it. it just wanted to be a really quick video, a really quick update on that, where I am with going to see Jack, I need an oil change on this car and possibly the tensioner for the timing chain. Jack's gonna check the spring in it because initial startup, it's the spring, which is, he just told me this by the way, this isn't me, you know, being all knowledgeable. He basically said that the tensioner on initial startup, it's the spring that's holding it out and the spring can become weak and sit lower down. So I need to get that done. There's, I'm still on the lookout for a family wagon and I did consider an RS4 and they're like four grand. The one that I saw was about four grand. 
and I thought, no, no, because it's 4.2 litre, does about 12 miles to the gallon around town. No, I might just buy, locally I've seen a Volvo, I can't remember what model it is, I'll look that up and put it at the bottom. I might just buy a Volvo Estate, it's got like 170,000 miles on it, but it looks fantastic, everything works, I'll have to go and test drive it. Road tax is reasonable, miles per gallon is pretty good, combined is something like 38 miles per gallon, and um, it's safe, it's got all the mod cons, and it would be a wagon that while we're renovating the house we can just throw stuff in the boot and it wouldn't really matter, and in two years you'd probably sell it, <coughs> hopefully around about the same price, probably a bit less. I don't, I don't buy cars to make money, so, which is probably a good thing because I buy terrible cars apart from this one I love this one I love my 912 oh and I did say about the MG it's sold isn't it for 6,400 but about 1100 pounds in fees so I, I ended up with 5.3 for example so that's fine um, and in response to some constructive feedback that I've had I've put a camera on the back and I have no idea what that footage is going to look like but I'm gonna go on the dual carriageway. Also, since I had my little spin in the box stop, I'm really wary of going around bends, even in this car, which has got traction control. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Can I get on here? I need to get to 75. I don't think I have, but I'm kind of all over the back of this car, which I don't want to be. I hate that. I hate doing that. But the Sporer has come up. So we're going to hopefully have video footage of it coming up. And then I'm going to slow below 50. And it's gone down. That's it. I'm going to have to use that footage for everything. Here's me putting my foot down. Same footage. Is that what people do? I don't know. Anyway, that's it from me for this little bit of a ramble rant. Hopefully next time I'll have some news on parts for the Boxster. And maybe I'll sell it in the spring as a track car, a potential track car, because it doesn't have air conditioning, making it lighter, less drag on the engine, and also it doesn't have traction control. Why would you want traction control on a track car, right? probably I don't know so I think it's a prime candidate I'll get it to a state where it's a really nice everyday daily driver car the hood's good the paintwork isn't the wheels are nice wheels or the, actually they could be nice wheels if they were refurbished so they'd need a couple hundred pounds and it's a on them and the interior is actually okay once I dry it out and I fix that seal I kind of fixed it, I think I cleaned it up. So, yes, and it's also quite dark now. Dreary, it is three o'clock, and it was my birthday this week, uh, but it's been a bit rubbish. No, it hasn't been rubbish, because the actual day, I went out with my wife, had some fantastic food, booze, and I had a hangover for a long time the next day. Yeah, a really long time. Uh, not ideal, but it was worth it. Great fun. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe, hit like, comment, and um, I apologize for it just being me in the car uh, chatting. It's kind of a, 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 it become video bloggish. I don't know if that's a thing. But that's what it's become. But when I start doing a video about the garage build, that should turn it up a notch. And also, maybe I might do a video about renovations. Maybe I'll do a video about renovations to a Georgian building, which is just a trial in itself. But anyway, thank you, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.